Welcome to our generation with Melissa Shaw, where we educate, empower, and inspire. And I am honored to have with us today Pink Monkey. I love the name, by the way. <laughs> so I met you guys at an event, um, Black Girl Hug, um, back in, uh, was it a few months ago? Yes. Yeah. So uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, your business, and kind of this mother daughter duo. Yes, mother daughter duo. So I have been doing holistic wellness. For about 20 years, started with natural remedies, uh, essential oils from home, and then just kind of branched out from there. Uh, went to massage therapy school in 2006, went to aesthetic school in 2009, and it just kind of grew. And then I'll let Elon tell you about how she joined. Um, yeah, so in 2016, is when I decided to go to aesthetic school because I was tired of the corporate world and I was like, I just need something else different. And also I needed something a little more flexible because I was just about to have my daughter and I didn't really want to have to go like back to work right away. Um, so I decided to go to aesthetic school as well. And then I joined the team, we teamed up and. Mm -hmm been together ever since yeah did you always was you always interested in beauty or that type of industry you know I was interested in it but I I didn't think that I would be good at it honestly mm. and so I was like eh, I'm just gonna go the business route I went to school I had my business degree so I was like let me just see what I can do business wise or working my way up and it just wasn't for me yeah. I should have just went ahead and went to aesthetic school and I could have already been. She told me to do that I was also, say by that the way. Sometimes she home. did. She was like, you should just do this. And I was like, nah, I should have listened. <laughs> yeah. So uh, y'all be listening to the mama. Yes, listen to your mama. <laughs> <laughs> um, so have you always had a passion for aesthetics and, you know, the wellness and health? So I have always had a passion for health and wellness. Just natural remedies. I used to make stuff in the kitchen. I used to make them be my guinea pigs <laughs> when we were at home when they were younger. And so funny is that I don't do that anymore, but now Elon does. She's a creative one. She makes our products. She makes stuff at home. She's always coming with something new to try. So but that's kind of how it got started, just doing stuff at home, just wanting something different naturally. Mm -hmm. And then just kind of one thing led to another. What's your, so give, what some products you have? So in our spa? Mm -hmm. So Elon makes all of our products. I'll let her tell you about them. I don't make every single product that we sell, but some of the main products that we use are um, our monkey balm, which we use on our clients post wax. Um, but it's also really good for other things too. Cuts, scrapes, bruises. Um, psoriasis, eczema. Um, we have people who use it for numerous amount of reasons. Um, I originally developed it for my daughter when she was a baby because I wanted something more natural that I could use as like a, um, like a diaper balm for her. Mm -hmm. So that's a, where it originated. Um, and then it kind of just grew from there. We started seeing different uses for it. And I've even had people use it for like tattoos mm. also like to put on the tattoos while it's healing so um i think i remember because you had, is that the same things you're giving us at the yeah. retreat yes so i my face was just every once in a while it gets get itchy on my forehead it's really weird um so i used that and mm -hmm. it really helped yeah yeah i'm glad i'm glad that it helped and then i had oh i got a couple bites so let me <laughs> put on some yes bites. yes you know like yeah. you ever watched that movie uh was it my big fat Greek, Greek wedding, wedding. They put bleach Windex on, on, Windex. on Windex. Windex That's on what everything. It is. Yeah, Windex <laughs> on everything. Yeah. At least what you have is healthy. <laughs> yes. Um, so we have that balm, and then um, another main product that we have is our um, yummy gloss, which is like a yoni oil, which you can use post wax as well, but also you can just use it at home, in between when you just need to moisturize your bikini area. It also helps to like prevent ingrowns. Um, and then for people who do shave, although we recommend waxing, it can help to alleviate um, 
alleviate itching as well in between. So what's the difference between shaving and waxing? I mean, I okay, let me Mm -hmm. rephrase my question. I know there's a difference, Mm -hmm. but why are you more prone to suggesting waxing Mm -hmm. versus shaving? So waxing is great because it removes the hair from the root. And then it you so it basically has to go through a whole nother full growth cycle before the hair actually starts to come above the surface again. Yeah. And so it lasts longer that way. But also it prevents that itchy feeling that a lot of people do struggle with as well. So the example I always use people is like your hair, it grows at a point like this, and that's how it comes out of your pore. And then but when you're cutting it, you're making it blunt like yeah. that. And so then you have this blunt piece of hair trying to wiggle its way out of there, which causes itchiness, it causes ingrowns, and all sorts of issues for people. So a lot of people who do struggle with like ingrowns and things like that, when they switch over to waxing, those issues go away. Nice. Yeah. So also I want to add that it also helps slow the hair growth. So when you pull it from the root, from the follicle, each time you do that, the hair follicle and the blood supply becomes less and less. So that's why the hair grows in slower. And then over time, some people's hair just doesn't grow as fast. So if you wax every four weeks, eventually it will go to five or six or even eight weeks. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, you know, there's been, there's conversation out there where some say just don't do nothing. Just let it be because it's healthier. What's your thoughts on that? So, I mean, I guess. <laughs> However, hair holds older, so that's a no for me, mm-hmm. especially in the summer. Mm-hmm. Why you want to have all that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I agree. If you want to do that, I do think that that's perfectly fine. Um, and usually, yeah, if you leave it alone, you don't have to worry about itchiness. You typically don't have to worry about ingrowns unless you have curly hair. Sometimes it's just something that comes along with having a curlier hair type. But for the most part, I would agree. For me, it's more so about like a way to be, feel more clean and hygienic, but also a way that it can like last longer yeah. as well. So I would say if you wanna be all natural, more power to you. However, if you are looking for a way to eliminate odor, be less sweaty during the summertime, yeah. then I would recommend waxing. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think there's like mixed, like back in the day, they used to say that it helped prevent a bacteria from coming in and all those different things. But I think studies have shown that that's not necessarily true. I mean, I, I would say like from a standpoint of like, I guess if you're just looking at it from if you're in the wild, for example, right? Like it would make more sense for you to have your hair to protect certain areas um, and prevent bacteria from getting in. But with modern society- We're not in the wild. We're not in the wild. <laughs> and we don't, we wear clothes, we have right. underwear, things like that. So yeah. we have other things in place to where we don't really need the hair there anymore. Yeah. So sometimes it's more of a bother yeah. to have it there. Yeah. So yeah. what started first? The waxing and do you do other things besides bikini and uh brazilian wax like what services do you offer so we are a full service spa so we do um i'm actually a massage therapist as well okay nice so i've been doing massage for 17 years even before i started waxing so we're a full service spa Uh, we wax everything for men and women we also do facials and all the body treatments. We even have a shower in our spa. So if you're doing like a body wrap or a mud wrap or a sugar scrub, yeah. something like that, we do all of those things. Uh, one of our um, contractors, Sierra, she actually does lashes as well. And then um, Brittany, she has a couple of things that she does, the tooth gems, some of the, um, the lipo shots that are more popular now as well. And then I am really into... Um, so I do life coaching as well. Okay. So I combine the life coaching with some of the other uh, natural health things like Reiki. Um, I do card reading. Um, and I'm pretty much into everything holistic. So if there's a treatment out there that you have been looking into, I probably know about it. I probably have all the things to do it. Uh, we also do body sculpting. 
Um, and that's kind of Elon's baby. So um, she was the one that actually introduced it to me. So I'll let her talk Can about you that. Talk a little bit about what that looks like? Yeah, so there's a couple different aspects to body sculpting, um, different things that you can do to get different types of results. Um, so we're hoping to bring that back soon. We've, I've kind of taken, uh, had taken a step back from it. Um, I had some like medical issues and stuff going on, so I haven't really been doing it as much. But um, one of the main things that people have probably seen around a lot um, is the wood therapy. So there are these different wood tools that you can use on the body and you can rub them up and down, side to side, around, depending on the tool. They're used slightly different, some for certain different areas. Um, and then basically what it does is it helps to separate the fat from the fascia. And the fascia is like this thin sliver of tissue that the fat likes to hold on to. And so you kind of break it up and then um, you get your lymphatic system going and then through that and then drinking water, you help to flush out the fat. And so it, it can also help to like shape the body more as well. So you can also you can encourage the fat to go move into to move away from <laughs> one area and maybe move into another area. Yeah. <laughs> We can, it can, it can help you out. Yes, yes, it can help with that. Yeah, give you a little lift. Yes, it absolutely can. Um, and then, so with that, we can pair that with um, our ice treatment. Um, so it's like a frozen clay. So it's, number one, it's really good at healing for the skin. Um, so what you do is you would do the wood treatment first. And then after that, we would go over the body with the ice treatment. And then that's gonna help to cool your body. It's similar to cool sculpting, except it's more natural. So instead of using a machine, we're using an actual frozen piece of clay. And then it cools the temperature down, helping you burn more fat. So your body actually has to work harder to like bring you back up to your normal body temperature, which helps you burn more fat. And then same thing, you want to drink water, though, so that you can, like, flush it out of your system, basically. Um, we also have radio frequency, which is really good for tightening the skin. Um, so you can use that on different body parts. In the past, I've used it, like, on my tummy, like, post-pregnancy and things like that to help tighten back up the skin. Um, you can also do it on your face as well to help, like, lift the face and everything. Um, there's also cavitation, which is basically, like, a really strong ultrasound um, and when you're getting the treatment done you can actually kind of hear it like you hear the vibrations um, like in your ears as it's going through your body but the vibrations help to break up the little pockets of fat same thing goes into the lymphatic system you want to drain it out you want to drink water so you can flush your system out um, and then lastly we have our EMS machine which is our electric muscle stimulation and you can use it on like one area or you can do like a full body workout. We usually pair that with our sauna bed. So it is a workout. It literally uses the electric pulses to contract your muscles, similar to what you would be doing if you are lifting weights. So yes, yes, absolutely. It's a passive workout, essentially. So you'll still get the workout and you still get a sweat in, um, but without having to actually go to the gym. So, yeah. <laughs> you will feel sore. Yeah. Like you did a workout, though, still. So, and once again, with that as well, we recommend drinking your water, flushing your system out, helping with the soreness, stretching, things like that. So, all that out. Is there other things and tips that you give people like getting those people? Yeah, so the number one thing is drinking water, but there are also, we have some new supplements um, that help to clean out your colon. It's a great way to jumpstart a weight loss program. It's a great way to just detox in general. And you just take it once a day with some water. And um, yeah, it just works naturally. Everything that we use is all natural.
We try to stick to as natural as possible. Yeah. So how long have you guys been open? So Pink Monkey actually started in 20... I went to aesthetic school in 2009, so 2009. And then we have been... Um, the location that we're in now, we've been there for a year. And um, when we first started, it was just me and then Manny Lon. We actually tried hiring some people, but that wasn't really a good fit for us. It wasn't until um, 2019 that we moved into this really big location. And that was right before COVID. And so when COVID hit, you know, we were shut down for a month. But as soon as we opened back up, business was booming because everybody was ready to get back outside. And so we ended up having to hire people. And so after that, it was just on. Um, yeah. How many clients do you service a month? So I would say about, on the low end, maybe 100. What's your no, most popular no. Treatment? Our most popular treatment is Brazilian waxing. And you know what? I was just looking at numbers. I think we service more about 200 a month now. Yeah. Yeah, Brazilian waxing 90% of the time. Yeah. Yeah. So, where did you get the name Pink Monkey? <laughs> Do you want to tell that story? Or you want me to um, tell it? Well, really, it was more so just like we were trying to figure out. Because previously, when it was um, just Rhonda by herself, um, it was Pink Monk, or I'm sorry, it was Spirit, Soul, Body, Wellness. Yeah. That's what it was originally. Um, but that was known more for like the massage. And so we, we were trying to rebrand differently to switch more into waxing being our main thing. Um, so we were like trying to come up with a new name and something that's really popular when it comes to waxing is calling it the monkey and things like that. So, but we were like, well, we can't just call it monkey. Like we need something else to go with it. And then it was kind of like, well, you're kind of pink. <laughs> After you wax, right? And we mostly service women. It's a feminine color. A lot of women like pink. So we were like, pink monkey. So, and it kind of just, we, we felt it out for a while. And then we decided to officially go with that. And it's been pink monkey ever since. Yeah. I like it. Very catchy. You're not never going to forget it. Yeah. <laughs> we get that a lot, too. Yeah. So where do you see the business yeah, so we got a lot of new things coming up um, down the pike. Um, we recently started a podcast, so you can find us on YouTube at Pink Monkey TV. And we're focusing on, we've always focused on self-care. So the podcast is very self-care focused. And so we're hoping to um, roll that into possibly some events, um, either this year or next year, as well as um, Elon has always had a vision to do um, a um, nonprofit, and so I recently I haven't even had a chance to tell her yet but I recently got some information on how we can get started with that so we're going to try to roll that out as well this year so that we can service the community um, teenagers really need to learn about self-care we want to start teaching women younger and younger this year we've had a lot of women bringing their daughters in for their first waxes like Under Armour bikini waxes so I think it's a great opportunity to to reach the younger generation and educate them, not just on waxing, but self-care in general. So hopefully we'll be able to start our nonprofit this year and then um, maybe do some, some books, some speaking, some events. Nice. Yeah. So what's your most favorite part about the business and the journey that you've been on? So for me, the favorite part is meeting the new meeting the clients because we get to talk we get to know each other um i became an esthetician in my 40s and so before that my relationships with women was very limited i don't have any sisters um got married really young really just focused on raising the family so really didn't have a lot of friends and since i've been an esthetician i've made actually more friends in this last 14 years. So that's the favorite part for me. Um, I'd say for me, part of it too, I think my favorite part would be the people. 
um, just that you get to meet, or even just like being feeling like you're helping people, you know. Um, so before, when I was in corporate, I was working for an insurance company and mainly doing customer service. And it really sucked because you're in customer service, but you really can never help anybody. <laughs> so I was like, I don't like that feeling like that. Like, I actually want to be able to help people. And so it's nice to, like, whether it's just helping them through the service or people come in and have whole therapy sessions sometimes during their wax. And so it's like, we're literally like, your SD bestie is what we like to call it. So like people come in, they ask us for advice on different things in their life. And it's a safe place for them where they know that they can come and have somebody to talk to who like actually cares and is not gonna run around town telling their business either. <laughs> yeah, we're in intimate areas. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's probably the best part. Do you? I, can't I, you know what? I do not. I hear other estheticians telling stories, like crazy stories. I honestly, in 14 years, I have never had anything crazy happen to me. But I think that's about the energy that you bring. You know, the kind of person that you are. People can feel that. And like I, and like Elon said, it, it is really a safe space. I think women really enjoy um, the atmosphere. Elon has actually done all of the decor, and so it's very inviting. It smells good, and so I think um, I can attribute us not having, at least me, not having any crazy stories to that. I would say the same. I don't have any crazy stories from, um, like, actually being done with school and being professional. I do have one crazy story, though. So when I was in school, we had this man come in, and he was just like, it was weird. I think he had some kind of like flashing fetish or something like that. It was the weirdest thing ever. So, you know, for, for us, we do do everything like completely, you're undressed completely from the waist down, which is fine. However, at our school, at the school that I went to, I'll say that we didn't actually do Brazilians um, at my school um, like they did at hers. So that was something that I got trained on after school. But so because at my school, we didn't do full like Brazilians or anything like that. Um, people would come in, they were supposed to put on these little disposable underwear so that we could just do like the bikini area for them, right? And there was this man who came in and number one, we see him on the schedule and then it's like, client must have two people present. And I was like, well, why does he have to have two people present? That's weird. And so I go around asking because I'm trying to figure out. So I finally find somebody who I can ask. And they're like looking through the notes. And they're like, oh, yeah. Well, he has an issue with exposing himself. And I was like, <laughs> why would you even let him come that's what here? I said. I said, why do you keep letting him come here? Like, but you have to have two people in the room with him to make sure he doesn't like try anything else, yeah. I guess, right? And so, and I felt so bad for this girl who was in there with me. So she was like the main person, but I was like her second person, but she ended up needing something. And then I had to leave the room to go get it. And he was covered, okay? He was covered when I left the room. I came back. When I came back, he was just balls out. It was, and I was just like, <laughs> and she was just looking at me as soon as, like wide eyes, as soon as I like came in the door and I was just like, Sorry, girl. I'm sorry. I tried to be as quick as I oh could, but yeah, me. he was. And I was just like, okay, dude, we're not about to keep doing this. So I'm going to cover you up. We're going to finish and then you're going to leave because I'm not doing this with you today. So yeah, it's crazy. That was crazy. That was like the craziest story I had with, uh, since I've been waxing. So yeah, it was just kind of like unexpected when people are supposed to be covered, yeah. but yeah, so. So, if you're starting in the beauty business, you really just need to be patient because it takes a while to grow your clientele. So, um, I would say be flexible with your time. 
um, especially with aesthetics and especially with waxing, the fastest way to build your business is to literally um, stay on social media but be open for walk-ins if that's just the quickest way. And then um, just, you know, make, uh, make yourself known, like go to events, pass out cards. You just need to be patient. It's going to take some time. That's all. Um, I would say one thing that's helped us, I think, because a lot of our growth really has come from word of mouth and recommendations. So I think if you can put in the effort to make sure that somebody has a good experience when they come in, if you you already have that all set, um, then it kind of does, it helps when people are like, oh, I went here and this was great and blah, blah, blah. And then they're telling five people and then, you know, at least three of those people come in or two of those people come in. Then they tell five more people, you know. So um, I think focusing on your, your service and experience um, from the beginning is a great way also to, to build. Yeah. Do you guys think of expanding? Well, we tried that for a while. And it was just a lot for us to handle at the moment. I think that we might be open to it again one day in the future, but we have a lot of other stuff that we want to do too. So possibly, not against it, not 100% sure though. Yeah. So our website is pinkmonkey.net and it's spelled P-Y-N-K-M-O-N-K-Y.net. Our Instagram and Facebook is Pink Monkey Indie and LinkedIn as well which is new for us. And is that it? Pink Monkey TV on YouTube. We are also on TikTok, Pink Monkey Indy. Um, and we're just really starting to do a lot more with social media, so there might not be a lot out there. But the podcast, we have how many episodes up now? Three? Three? Yeah. Very yeah. good. Yeah, absolutely. So did I'm I miss anything? On the on our yeah, too. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It's always weird when I've been on other people's podcasts, like, now I'm the one that has to talk. Right, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I think that's everything. You can also call or text us. Our number is 317-985-1649. We do take walk-ins for waxing on Wednesdays from 12 to 8. And our, yep, save $10 on your Brazilian wax. Our address is 5699 East 71st Street near 71st and Benford. So kind of, you know, not too far. Yeah. yeah. In my area, I actually go boxing over there off of 62nd and Benford. Kind of oh, past okay. the speedway over in those little industrial buildings back there. There's a gym oh, back yeah. there. Okay. It's okay. called Flash, but the, my trainer, boxing trainer, goes in there. Oh, I'm familiar with that place. Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, the trainer is Robert from Martial Arts. Um, okay. He just kind of comes in and just does classes in there. Okay. So I do that. I yeah. love boxing. Okay, great. It's such a great workout. It sounds like it, it would is. be. I, when I first started doing it, I had to take a nap. When I went home, because I was so tired. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like it would be fun. Because it literally, like, just all the stress, like, it releases mm -hmm. everything. And just mm -hmm. to be able to, I say, just to be able to hit something is great. Yeah. <laughs> you should try that. Yeah, you yeah. should. You should. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys being here. And I'm thank looking you for forward having to having seeing us. you guys. Yeah, thank you for having us. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Um, so definitely check them out on the Hockey News and then Melissa Shaw with our generation will be educated on our news. I'll see you guys next time. Of course I can't find my clicker. Oh, there it is. <laughs>